Good morning and welcome to another Read Aloud. This book was actually divided into morning, noon, and night. So today's Read Aloud is going to be a little bit shorter because we're going to finish the morning, which is what we started yesterday, and then tomorrow we'll start with the afternoon. So we only have about two pages today. Well, let's continue. I can see the loon's white striped necklace. His shiny black back is decorated with white squares and dots. The loon is looking straight at Grandfather with his small red eyes. He stretches his silken neck up and then strikes his strong wings on the surface of the water. I feel the spray wet my shirt. I do not move as I watch the loon circle our canoe in a dance. Then, giving a sudden wild yodel, he dives with a powerful force. My heart is pounding. I want to speak. But I dare not. I know the loon has reminded us that the northern lake is his home. Grandfather has told me that our ancestors have given our people many stories of the great loon. This morning on the lake is our story. I squint to catch a glimpse of the family, but they have vanished, gone, as quickly as they appeared. The morning is no longer serene and still. Birds chirp their morning songs across the lake. I sense the animals stirring on the shore. The mist is gone. The sun, full and warm, shines bright above the trees. The wind ripples the water. The leaves sway gently in the scented breeze. I feel that it would be all right to speak now, but I have silence on my tongue. No sound comes from the back of the canoe. I turn around to see Grandfather. He is smiling. I glance at my own reflection on the water. And I am smiling too, just like Grandfather. This boy kind of look like, looks like justice. What do you guys think? Anyway. Like I said, guys, today's was a very short interactive read aloud. Tomorrow's will be a little bit longer, and we'll cover the afternoon section of this book. I hope one of the things that's sticking out with you guys is the high-quality uh, sensory details that our writer is writing this book with, whether it's sight details, hearing details. Um, I think the author's doing a fantastic job, so keep that in mind as we continue our interactive read aloud tomorrow and we'll talk about the afternoon. Have a great day, everybody. Please make sure to answer today's short answer question.